Hi friends, good morning. Today morning I will show you the instruments which are used for ear surgery like tympanoplasty, mastectomy. So those instruments I will be showing you. So I will be showing you the instruments which are used for mastectomy as well as the tympanoplasty. So after putting the incision, then we will encounter the periosteum. So this instrument is above periosteum elevator. So this is the firm impression where we keep the th and then we try to elevate the periosteum. You can see this quite it's wide in size and you can see the sharp end. So this will elevate the periosteum of the mastoid. So this is called this ferroproof uh, periosteum elevator. Then other instrument after elevating then we will put the uh, use the retractor. The most commonly used retractor is Mollison's mastoid self-retaining hemostatic retractor because it will separate it will keep the two margins of the incision apart and will put pressure on the flap and that pressure will not allow the vessels to bleed so that's why it is called hemostatic self-retaining where it is called self-retaining once we open then it will not close so you can see this lock arrangement so if we wish to close then we'll have to press this and then we can close so once we are, it is released so it will not close by itself so that's why it is called self-retaining and it, it controls the bleeding that's why it is also called uh, hemostatic and it is used for mastoid surgery that's why it is called mastoid retractor and the other types also you can see this is other type of mastoid elevator uh, sorry retractor so this will go towards the anterior side and this will be posterior side so this anterior side you can see again that it will separate the uh, or put and uh, detect the posterior uh, skin of the posterior metal wall. So that complete axonotic canal we will be able to see and this will detect the posterior margin of the uh, incision and they will allow the good view of the mastoid. Similarly this is again this mastoid retractor, retractor another type and this is plaster type, plaster junction type this mastoid retractor. It is, uh, so you can see on one side these two prongs you can see other side is very uh, sort of uh, blunt and it will detect again the skin of the posterior metal wall and will be able to see the entire uh, exonotic canal as well as the mesoid. This instrument can be applied even it can be used even for neck surgery also for thyroid or for this thyroglossal cyst or small if cervical node is there that we can uh, there also we can use this and the chisel now these are the different uh, sizes of gauzes you can see so in the gauze and these are the chisels so in the gauze you can see this is a uh, little u shaped and you can see this groove in this in the chisel there will not be any groove and this is the, the even this end also it is u shaped and so it is used for this is the mastered gauze so with the help of this we can remove the bone and we will put the instrument like this and over this and you can see this is the head of the um, this mastered gauze and we can so here we can use the hammer like this and we can remove the bone wherever you wish to remove it so these are the different sizes you can see so this is the largest size this is the smallest size and then you see the chisels these are the chisels again the chisels also they have a head so they will also help in removing the bone so wherever we wish to remove the bone we can use this so hammer will strike over this and these are the different sizes you can see of the chisel these four sizes of the chisel is there so again you can see that uh, you can see this head they will be there in the chisel as well as in the groove and then the tip it is u-shaped and you can see this groove in this gauzes where this is flat the you can tip you can see that is beveled the tip is little beveled so again depending on the uh, nature of the surgery we can and uh, the amount where, uh, that we want to remove of the bone so accordingly we can use these instruments then it, other instrument is the periosteal elevator so they are similar this but this periosteal elevator you will not find the head so there is no head but this is double uh, ended this periosteal elevator so you can see this rounded and it is not that sharp so with the help of this we can elevate the periosteum 
the other types of periostomal elevator also you can see this tip is different you can see you, and this is different so this also that can be used while doing the microsurgery of the ear and again these are again the different this freer type of this periostomal elevator so i told you showed you the gauzes which have groove and the head then i showed you the chisel which end is beveled you can see and they have the head and they are help used for removing the bone and these are the passive periosteum elevator so they do not have the head you can see there are two ends double ended this uh, instruments so the size is different this is little smaller in comparison to this so these instrument they can be used in the ear as well as in the nasal surgery also we can use when we are performing septoplasty or this smr surgery so there also we can use this all these instruments all these three instruments so they can be used for ear surgery as well as for the nasal surgery this instrument is myringo tom you can see this angled instrument and its tip you can see is very sharp like a rope so with the help of this we perform the surgery myringo tommy so simply this instrument is to be stabbed in the tympanic membrane and it will perform the myringo tommy and if need be after myringo tommy we can insert the grommet also if there is need otherwise simply myringo tommy that is performed in cases of acute otitis media where the grommet is inserted that is a needful that is needed in cases of otitis media with diffusion so the sharp tip that you can see this is myringo tom and there is another instrument this that is double ended and on one end you can see this curate and on the other end you can see this blunt process and this is called cell seeker so it, it is helpful when we are uh, in the when after during mastectomy when we enter into the uh, entrum then we can confirm it cell secret is called entrum secret is called make events messy ones cure it and cell seeker and this is another type of retractor that is used in cases of mastoid surgery so you can see this screw if you open the screw you can see this gap is increasing so this end will these two they will separate the two flaps and keep them separate and this we can if you need to close then we again will have to rotate it like this then sometimes superiorly the structures come in in between in the way so it is the third bones that will be like this and this we can pass here you can see and this will reflect and this will retract the temporalis fascia superiorly like this it can be kept so as for the need we can adjust its size so this is the third bit these two plates you can see this is the third one so this is used in cases of mastoid surgery 